ta-da! Look at all this hair I got for those brushes. You you don't care. Okay. Well, anyways, guys, this is Stoning W. I got all this hair off of those uh, brushes on this vacuum. This is a quick maintenance and DIY video for spring cleaning and all the other fun stuff. We realized in the past we've been getting a lot less dust collecting in our uh, Dyson vacuum cleaner. So we figured, you know, we should probably maintain this thing. So I'm that's why we're making this video. So looking underneath, since we've been, you know, at home so much, a lot of hair got caught on us. This is a DC-07 Dyson. This is probably what, good eight year, eight year old uh, vacuum cleaner or more. Um, they still have similar ones to this, but at the same time, this uh, DIY on how to clean this, uh, this hair off of the um, brush roller is pretty universal to any other vacuum cleaner. So for us, we'll take off the bottom plate so we get to the rollers. And for the Dyson one, basically all you need is a few coins so you could remove those little plastic parts so that you can actually unhook the bottom part of it. For other vacuum cleaners, same thing. You just need a screwdriver or something, but you have to get to that roller to um, help clean up all the debris and the hair that gets caught in those brushes. So for the Dyson, you just want to make sure they're all pointed upward so that they're open. So a simple coin does that. And if we take a look at this, they're both, they're all standing straight up instead of uh, horizontal. So with that, we could go ahead and slowly lift this thing off. And look at that dust. There's even other dust caught in other crevices. So this huge roller um, brush rotates and we need a utility knife to basically start cutting all this hair buildup that's underneath. This is only, be this is only what, last time we did this was about, I don't know, six months ago. So you probably should do this every, Six months to a year depends on if you have people in the house that have long hair or a lot of, um, well, have a lot of long hair or any other, you know, stuff like this. So basically using a utility knife, a nice sharp one, go ahead and start cutting parts of it and don't cut the bristles, just cut the hair. And you, you want to make sure you start making a cut so that you can start pulling this stuff off of it. Now the bristles itself, it's actually embedded into the brushes. So it's pretty well entwined in there. So that's why the brushes don't work anymore. It can't really suck up any other dirt on the floor because it's just basically pushing stuff around. It's now no longer um, using the active brushes to pick it up and throw it into the vacuum. Um, and yeah, it's the vacuum can only do so much in sucking. It sucks, it vacuums pretty well, but at the same time, if it doesn't have any brushes or effective brushes, it won't be able to pick up any dirt or anything on top of the brush. So it's think about it like an agitator or something. Anyways, slowly working it through, I basically cut it with a utility knife and you have to basically pull the stuff off. Um, there's, you could actually take this thing off, but the first thing, I just wanted to have it here so that it holds onto it. There's actually a lot more hair underneath that belt, which got caught. So we're first gonna clear off all the hair that's caught on the brushes, the work could reach and stuff. And just, I'm leaving it on here so that actually it's easier to just pull. Otherwise I'll be pulling against something else. So. You know, I'd rather have it here so I can slowly pull off most of this hair first before I take it off the um, off the, the vacuum and take the belt off too, so I could get it underneath the belt. But anyways, yeah, just slowly work it, and one section at a time, you can slowly pull the hair and, you know, clean up all the hair particles and stuff, but slow cuts and stuff. You, if it's like a wooden roller, you can still do the same, just be careful because you don't want to damage the roller or the brushes or, um, or the bar, the roller bar either. So, and of course, don't cut that that belt. That belt's kind of pricey and you don't want to you know, have to replace the belt. Um, just nice, just control your cuts and make sure you cut most of the hair off and slip the blade close to the belt and pull away from it so that you could, you know, segment it off compared to um, the other ones. So be very, very careful with that belt and with your knife. So of course, you know, we should pay maintenance, do this every quarter, like every three months instead of every every half year but or even one year. But if you notice that your vacuum is not, you know, vacuuming effectively anymore, or it's not picking up anything off the top of the rugs or uh, carpet, it's probably because the roll is all gunked up with hair or some other debris that doesn't make those uh, brushes effective anymore. Basically, they're all covered up. So that's how much hair we already got right now. Uh, there's still more to come because that belt area has even more. So let's go ahead and work on this. I'm going to also remove the, um, now I can actually remove the roller off. So I could slide the roller off that belt so we get under the belt 
stuff. And look at how deep and thick that belt one is. It's actually even thicker because it basically accumulates. Slowly enough, if you don't do this, it's gonna damage the motor or the belt's gonna get caught and then there's gonna be hair inside where the other drive motor is or whatever. And that's gonna be even more harder to clean or it might just break your, your vacuum at that point. So maintaining this every six months is probably a good thing at least once a year um, to keep your vacuum cleaner or any other appliance you know, working well. You really have to make sure these things are clear, especially if there's so much stuff. So now that I have the belt off of it, I could actually cut the rest of the hair that's off on the belt drive or the belt um, um, divot, I guess. So I'm going to pull the rest of this one off. And notice that this is much thicker. It's because it constantly drives it and meshes it together. Super thick hair. But yeah. I'm just slowly working it, and that's what you basically need to do. If you want to, you could also clean up all this other gunk and stuff that's all around this and the loose dirt. But right now, it's primarily to get this hair out of this the uh, the main bristles and stuff, so it actually works again. So now that most of it's clean, we'll go ahead and slide it back in, make sure it hits it fits in the track as well as um, make sure it's lined. Then we'll slide this other piece back in so, and lock it back in place. Usually it's not held by, it's only held by a lever or something else like that. So once you have the bottom part off, you know, it, it's usually a lever or maybe a screw or two that basically releases this roller roller brush bar. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one back now. Just, I'll probably clean that up a little later too, but yeah, if you take a look at this, there's a lot of hair. And of course my supervisor is just right there. So he's supervising this whole project. Uh, yeah, and yep, he is. <laughs> Okay, so even showing him this, he just you know blinks his eye and doesn't really care anyways. So, oh well. As long as I got this thing done, we could start vacuuming again and you know, it'll be nice clean floors and carpet, so that's really cool. So, as you can see, there's that whole um what almost a centimeter of brushes that got covered up before. So, if you want to, you also clean that off. I'm going to go ahead and clean that off later. Uh but yeah, this is it. Um, if you're spoon cleaning or if you want to make sure your appliances like your Dyson vacuum or any other vacuum lasts for a long, long time, you should really do this maintenance and make sure that nothing, you know, basically gets caught and burns out motors. Thanks for watching guys. And my name is Stone W and I hope this was helpful for you. Bye-bye. Anyways, if you haven't already, please like, subscribe, hit the bell button for the Stone W channel. I do a lot of Costco runs price checking, as well as new product finds. Anyways, there's also a lot of long-term reviews and updates, as well as other fun current reviews and stuff, as well as DIYs and how-to videos. So check out the channel and have fun. See you next time. Bye.